Hi, my name's Hannah Crowley. I'm the author of Getting Through Tough Times blog at Healthy Place. And for those of you that haven't followed my blog, um, I'm just here to talk about the struggles and difficulties and what it was like for me growing up with a diagnosis of anorexia from being 13. Um, and today I'm going to talk slightly more generally about mental illness because something's been um, niggling at me, something that I really want to share and it's that I've really struggled growing up with the feeling that I wasn't good enough because of my mental illness. Um, and a lot of people, well-meaning or otherwise, would say to me, um, you know, you need to get better before you try and do this, or I understand that you want to do this, but you can't because you're not well enough. And so, because enough people were telling me things like this, and because it's always easier to believe the negative things than the positive things, I truly believed that there was no point in me trying to study too hard because I was always in hospital and what was the point in me looking for a husband or a boyfriend because I would just I just wasn't good enough and I always thought that there was there was no point in trying to pursue something some kind of success because I would inevitably fail and I had the kind of perfectionism that is often synonymous with a mental illness that unless I knew I could do something perfectly or very well, I didn't want to do it. So I really sold myself short and, um, and until eventually I decided to try and um, because my mental illness wasn't really going anywhere. So I went to university and then I was too sick and I was sent to rehab and I was there for a few months and then I came out and I did it again and the same thing happened and then a third attempt at university I was still ill and a lot of people had really told me that I couldn't do it and I, I surprised myself with the fact that actually I did, it was something that I really wanted and I kept pushing for it and I found that even though um, I fluctuated with in, in the mental capacity and of health um, and sometimes I was really very ill and I did have to do a lot of my work from hospital but after I completed it and after I did it that was something that the success and the feeling of actually following a dream that had nothing to do with my eating disorder um, was so amazing that I felt so happy that actually it didn't cure me no but it made me it gave me the tools to realize that I could do something that so many people thought I couldn't so why couldn't I get over my illness and it the success of something completely unrelated actually went the furthest to fixing me or making me a lot better than anything else did so I would like to urge everyone out there if you've got a dream or a hope or something that you would really love to do that has nothing to do with whatever mental issues you've got going on, then go for it. It doesn't matter if you fail. I know it's a cliche, but you can pick yourself up and you can try again. And I know I sound really cheesy, but you can do it. And it will be so worth it. Just keep trying. And I'll talk to you next week. Bye.